A massive asteroid from outer space heads straight for Earth. It's as large as the one that impacted over four billion years ago. This computer simulation has been made with the scientific advice of geophysical experts to show the effects if the impact were to happen today. The asteroid's diameter is larger than the main island of Japan. Even though it is moving at over 720,000 kilometers an hour, that's almost 450,000 miles an hour, the asteroid appears eerily slow because of its size. The actual impact happens in the Pacific Ocean, just under a thousand miles south of Japan. is peeled away like an orange skin by what is called the crest tsunami. Even the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean looks like a thin film. Huge chunks of debris the size of city blocks are hurled into the air. The entire Japanese archipelago is disintegrated, as is some of the Asian continent. The shattered remains are hurled out into space way beyond the atmosphere to bombard the Earth with deadly intent when they re-enter. Seven thousand meters, twenty-three thousand feet, the rim of the crater is higher than many mountains on Earth today. The size of the crater would be a distance of two and a half thousand miles or four thousand kilometers. And this is just the start. after the impact, rock vapor, the temperature of the sun, begins to engulf the world. Could any life at all survive this impact? Immediately after the impact, the rock vapor rises up from the crater in a dome, then spreads out in all directions across the globe. Three hours after the impact south of Japan, the expanding wall of vaporized rock reaches the mountains of the Himalayas. The perpetual snows are instantly evaporated.
Soon the wall of fire reaches the Amazon, the furthest distance from the point of impact. The forest spontaneously combusts even before the rock vapor arrives. Just one day after the impact, the entire planet is covered. Every living plant or creature is vaporized. It's been estimated that this vapor would cover the entire globe for almost a year. It would be as if the sun had come to Earth. The ocean would start to bubble and boil. And as the water evaporates, the oceans would drop at the rate of five centimeters or two inches every second. Even the salt deposited on the ocean floor vaporizes, and then the very bottom of the sea melts. Nothing is left untouched. One month after the impact, the surface of the world has been sterilized. The oceans have vanished. All that remains is the superheated bedrock. It is thought that an impact like this happened six times in the violent past of the Earth's history. If there was life, it was assumed that it too would have been wiped out, only to begin again.